Hey, to the y'all family at this time, may the peace of y'all come upon you. Um, this is very important in the video. We learn to obey him at this time. Uh, we, we, we're dealing with the, uh, the offerings, the new moon and the Sabbaths. We're going to talk about in the feast days, brothers and sisters. I'm going to start off in, uh, in uh, the book called Leviticus. It's very important. And we're going to start off with chapter 1. And read down from, from verse 1 to verse 9. The words of Yah is so important, brothers and sisters. Of course, you know I don't use the word Lord and God that the translator put in there in place of the uh, creator name, our uh, brothers and sisters. And so I want to uh, I want to show you some information. We're gonna go um, uh, start back in the time of Moshe and bring it all the way back towards to, um, today because we got to know the history of our nation. To better understand and know what Abi is telling us in every time per brother and sisters, what we do and what we can't do, and what we will be doing when we return back home. In this video, you will see all of these things, brothers and sisters, that is very important for each and every one of you. And me as well, as I read them and I go over them. And in this video, you will learn some laws of Yah that is very important and, and the instructions that he gave. The detailed instructions how he, he gave to keep the laws. A lot of people overlook. They overlook the statutes of the laws of Yah. To keep each law, you have to know the statute concerning each law. Or you will break the law and become in contempt to Yah. And the contempt. So let's look at it and we're going to all read it. You don't want to fall in, into the disobedience of y'all, brothers and sisters, like our nation have become and became from the head to the least. But I'll be our promise that we will return when we obey Him. We have to obey Him to become the head again. All because of all your mercy, he, he granting these things back to us, brothers and sisters. So keep that in mind. So it's very important. So right here it said uh, in verse 1 in chapter 1 of Leviticus. It said, Yah now spoke to Moshe. They got Moses, but his name is Moshe from the tabernacle. That was the portable uh, um, tent they built. The, uh, the house, the um, Ark of the Covenant. It's in the tabernacle. And commanded him to give the following instructions. It's very important to the people of Yahshua Yil Yah. They got Israel, but it's Yahshua Yil Yah. See, we keep them out the instructions, the information, the knowledge. This wisdom that comes from Yah. See the instructions. Come, see it said. Um, to give them the following instruction. To the people. Of Yahshua. Yeah, yeah. See Yah gave it to Moshe. But it comes from the creator Yah. Just. Information. Instructions. It said, and when you. Offer. So you got sacrifice. I don't use this word sacrifice. You got to look into the word sacrifice for yourself. That's killing another animal. But when when you offer to Yah, use animals from your herds and flocks. You see that? It said when you uh, offer to Yah, they got sacrifice. But when you offer to Yah, you're killing the animal. You offer an animal. That was the instructions given from Yah to Moshe to give to the people of Yah. He said, if you offer, excuse me, if your offering is to be a ox given as a burnt offering, see? Use on a bull with no physical Defects. That's very fun. a pure one. That's what I was telling you about. So we're dealing with the uh, uh, clean and unclean, the pure and the defective one. So keep that in mind. You can hear much of that throughout this video. 
It's very important because that what got our people put out of the land. Now you're going to see with all the other sins. But this was a major one. See, this instruction was given to Moshe way back then, ever be, way before they ever got into that land. And now I told Moshe all the things just about what our people was going to, be, was going to do. And he, even how they was going to disobey him. He told Moshe this ahead of time because he know the hearts and the minds of man. And he knew our people would not always obey him. But he gave us a, a, a chance to, you know, I'll be I still going to see I'll be I'll carry out his plans, even though he can know your heart and mind. He still carry out his plans. See, nothing altered the plans of Yah, the will of Yah. You might not um, understand what he does always, but he, that's why he's the creator. But to give everybody an opportunity, a, a, a chance. So you, you can never blame him and fault him. That's when our minds got to elevate and, and, and the love to obey, the, to obey y'all because love is obedience. Complies with the order and instruction of the one who gave it, the chief one, the supreme one, who was Yah, the creator, that deserve all the honor because he formed all things. He created all things, especially all things that are perfect. Man took the creation of Yah and, and, and mix it and make it become unperfect. That's all they do. They just take things and mix it and make it become unperfect. But Yah made all things perfect from the beginning. Even man, but man disobeyed him. One, one man and man, Adam kind, disobeyed him. So we had, it said, bring the animals to, let me go back up, it's very important. It said, if your offerings is to be a ox given as a burnt offering, Use on a bull with no physical defect. Bring the animal to the entrance of the tabernacle. Where the priest, says very important, the, the, the Zayquins, the priests of Yah, the Kohans. That's what I meant to say, the Kohan, not the Zayquin. If the older brothers, but the, but the uh, Kohans bring the uh, bring the offerings to the entrance of the door to the priest. Will accept your gift for Yah. Remember, that it got to be one of physical, one with, without physical defects. So that's the instructions. So everything got to be carried out in detail, brothers and sisters. So you say, and the, uh, the priest would accept your gift. For Yah, see, on behalf of Yah, the priest will accept the gift in front of the door of the tabernacle. It said, and the person bringing, see, the one that bring that is bringing it, the offering bringing it is to lay his hand upon it. See, the offering you bring to the priest in front of the tabernacle that was during that time period. I'm gonna explain it to you now. The first instruction that went out. He would lay his hands upon it. Head. And it. Excuse me. He would lay his hand upon the head. And it then becomes. His substitute. See. The replacement. The substitute. And say it will become. His substitute. The death. Of the animal. Will be accepted. By see the Barad, they got God, but it's Barad, the creator, because that's the instructions of Yah instead of the death of the man who brings it as the penalty for his sins. You see that? That's the mercy of Yah. So the animal would die in, in place of your sins. It said the man. Should then kill the animal there before Yah and earn 
sons, the priests, will resent the blood before Yah, sprinkling, sprinkling it upon all the sides of the altar at the entrance of the tabernacle. See? So now showing at the entrance of the tabernacle or the, the altar, the slaughter place stood. And, and then the priest will skin the animal and quarter it and build a wood fire upon the altar and put the sections of the animal in its head and fat upon the wood, the eternal organs and the legs are to be washed. Then the priest will burn them upon the altar and they will be accepted, acceptable burnt offering with which Yah is pleased. So I want to read that first. So I'm, I'm gonna go to chapter nine, chapter nine, and verse six. Of Leviticus at this time is very important because the father instructions of Yah, and these were the instructions given. Chapter nine and verse six, right here. It said Moshe told him, "When you have followed Yah's instructions." His honor, they got glory, but his honor will prepare, excuse me, appear to you. See, this go in everything. When we follow the instructions of Yah, then the honor of Yah will appear to you, brothers and sisters. See, when we be in compliance with Yah, even the rally that I'm calling you to, to obey Yah, then the honor of Yah will appear to you. You, our nation, our nation need a bad because right now our nation have no honor with Yah and in all the sight of the whole earth at this time, brothers and sisters. We the least, we the most talked about. You can see the example if a blind person, I'm talking about physically blind, can't see that out of all the nation that is in America, the mixture of nations in America, we are the ones getting treated the worst. Even even by by even by on their low officials, the police officer. The prime example on the street. Out of all the nations here in, in America, none you hear on the news getting killed like our nation. None. It's almost like a hundred to one. Uh, ninety-nine to one. Getting fires getting incarcerated. All of these things, brother, is a sign of, of a dishonor, a curse upon our people, brothers and sisters. But when we fall back in line with y'all, brothers and sisters, and follow in the instructions of Yah, his honor will appear to you. See, remember what Abiyah said, when, when, when your ways please Yah, he will make your en enemies to be at peace with you, brothers and sisters. That's very important. I always to remember these things, brothers and, and, and sisters, as I'm going to cover that when I get to Isaiah. How I'll be saying we, we disobey him. The enemy will kill us, brothers and sisters. These are the things you always got to remember. These are the facts of Yah. As I'm, I'm going to go to Isaiah, excuse me, not Isaiah, I had it in my mind. Um, Leviticus chapter 22 at this time. Because much of Leviticus deal with offerings. Much of it, if you, if you read it. And cover other things as well. And talk much about sin and and, 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 and don't sin. And that's what the whole scripture uh, give you uh, is the purpose to give you away from sin and tell you all the curses that come when you do sin. But it also tell you on the flip side all the blessings, honor come when you obey y'all. So you got to look and take the positive benefits from obeying y'all. So chapter 22 of Leviticus, brothers and sisters, at this time, verse 19 to 21. I'm going to read uh, 22 
uh, Leviticus chapter um, uh, 19, verse 21, right here. It said, it will only be acceptable to my children uh, uh, cut the words out, Lord, they blotted it out, Lord, God, so you can't see it. So that's what it would have been because they know they was adding to, into the translation. It's, it only will be acceptable to Yah if it is a male animal without defect. You see that? Just dealing with the offerings. See, it's a, it, it is a male, excuse me, let me go back up. It will only be acceptable. So we're talking about acceptable and non-acceptable. So keep that in mind, because I'm showing this in this video to show you what got our people put out of the land. You can see that in this video. Hopefully I don't have to do part two. But in this video, you're going to see plainly why. We got put out because our people broke the covenant of Yah. All of this is in the covenant, the acceptable and non acceptable. Well, all of y'all gonna receive what he accept. It got to be perfect. Animal presented to him for the forgiveness of sins. It, say, uh, it will only be acceptable to Yah if it is a male animal without defect. See? It must be a young bull or a sheep or of a sheep or a goat. Anything that has a defect must be must must not be offered. You see that? For it will not be accepted. See? Oh yeah, see that was that was part of the instructions of the Torah. See, part of the law, the instruction that was given. And then you're gonna see that instruction is what our ancestors did not keep. That Abia say he would not accept it. That's why Abba say pissed Abia off and made him angry. The judgment came, he removed it all from the land because our people did not love Yah, they did not respect Yah, they did not fear him. They did not reverence him. They did not respect his power, his authority, his sovereignty. So I'll be I removed our ancestors for punishment. And so, so many going to die, two thirds going to be wiped out. And he said, you're only going to bring back a remnant that have a hot after Yah. See, he's not just bringing a remnant back, but the remnant hot got to be right towards Yah. They got to obey Yah. So we got to look at all these things, brother and sister. It's very important. 21. It said, anyone offering a peace offering to Yah from the, from the herd or flock, whether to fulfill a vow or a voluntary offering, must offer an animal that has no defect. You see that? Or it will not be accepted. See how he remind I'll be out, he the best to, to do it, remind often over and over. And told Moshe to remind them, to tell them. See the the plant this in your mind. So be without an excuse, brothers and sisters. A lot of people are gonna tell you as I turn the numbers, I didn't remember that. I didn't hear that. So I'll be out in his mercy, he reminders. All throughout the scripture, you see the reminders all over the scriptures. Not to do it, do it this way, but don't do it that way. Uh, do it, uh, you see, uh, y'all give us a strength. We got to do it his way, brothers and sisters. A lot of people want to keep doing it their own way. And they walk in their own ways, brothers and sisters, contrary to the ways of Yah. And that's what get our people destroyed. And in number chapter 28, Uh, I'm going to start off with verse 1, then we'll go down to uh, verse 9 to 11. In chap chapter 28, the instructions of uh, Yah is, is, is so important. That's our life, brother and sister, to obey him. Right here in, in, in um, Deuteronomy, 
I said Deuteronomy. I, I mean, I said Numbers. I'm in Deuteronomy. Excuse me, fam. In Numbers chapter 28, verse 1, right here. Numbers chapter 28, verse 1. I say, um, Yah gave Moshe these instructions to give to the people of Yasha Yil Yah. So it's no excuse, brother. So a lot of people keep saying these are Mo, uh, Moshe laws. No, they were the laws, the instruction that was given to Moshe from Yah, as I'm just reading to you just now. I'll keep that in mind. So a lot of people want to bypass the Creator, so they put it on the man. So oh, we don't have to keep the Moshe instructions. The instruction Moshe gave was from Yah. See? It's a Yah gave, see, he gave, he's the giver. Moshe, these instructions to give to the people of Yasha Yel, Yah, the offerings which you burnt on the altar. See, a lot of, I heard some people will pass these things and say, oh, we don't have to keep the offering, animal offering. That was the uh, instruction of Moshe, further from the truth. It was the uh, instruction from Moshe that was given from Yah to give to us. So right here, say the offering which you burnt on the altar, which is a slaughter place, for me are my food. And are a pleasure. See? Even, even in um the New Testament, the falsehood of the New Testament, in Hebrew chapter 10, they, they tell you plain to tell you, Yah did not delight in these things in the offerings. Right here, when you read in Numbers, the words of Yah, true words, it's contrary to the New Testament, so you know that came verified uh, 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 that it came from Yah. That proved that that's somebody else saying somebody else's word other than Yah. Uh, Yah said these things I read to you earlier in, in, Le in Leviticus. How these things are, are acceptable to Yah. They, 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 they please Yah. And right here it tells you again and are uh, a pleasure to me, see, he said, the offerings and off is a pleasure to him, to me. So see to it that they are brought regularly and are offered as I have instructed you. See, see the details of y'all. He said, make sure these things bring regularly and, and, and often as I instructed you to bring these things. So let me read this. I'm um, add this uh, to, in, in two or two right here. It's a, uh, uh, verse two. It says, when you make an offering by fire, you shall use yearlings, male lambs, each with out defect. You see that all those scriptures without defect. Two of them shall be offered each day as a regular burnt offering. One. Lamb shall be offered in the morning and the other in the evening. Let me cut that off right there and go down to verse 9 to 11. Right here. See right here? It say, um, so we're going we're gonna to cover this real quick. Because this is very important right here. Because now, what the offerings, a lot of people don't understand, was offered on the Sabbath, the feast day, every day of the, uh, 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 the year. Often was made, and then not only on every day you're gonna see right here on on the Sabbath, the new moons, the feast days, brothers and sisters. All these days is very important right here. Let's get it, cover it. And, and, and um, chapter uh, 28 of Numbers and verse um uh, right here nine. It said um on the Sabbath day, offered two. Yearling male lambs, both without defect. See, in addition to the regular offerings, a lot of people don't understand about this the Sabbath offering that's the weekly Sabbath day offering to Yah. We have no clean priest at this time that I'm covered to you in this um, um, message as well. How the priest must be clean first to present. Um, Pure offerings back to Yah. And then we got to get our animals for a certain place. All this going to be when we get back over to the land. And the temple be rebuilt. And a slaughter place. You can find it in, in, in Ezekiel. 
that covers that chapter 40 to 47. In verse, you can read in the chapter 43 about excuse me, the rebuilding of the slaughter place, the altar. So all of this got to be have uh, understood. All of this got to be known. Our people got to rehearse. That's why we got to rally and come together. All of this got to be uh, rehearsed over and over till we actually do the real thing. And all of these functions be brought back. All the days be kept in the way that they're supposed to be kept. And presented to y'all as perfect and pure and to be pleased. Right now, y'all don't, it's not pleasing none of the things y'all do, brothers and sisters. Not until you begin to obey him. Until we rally together as a nation and start migrating back to Yah. Then that will please Yah. Then he will remove the enemies from us. Just little by little, he can remove the enemies and, and, and people going to start helping us. You're going to see that. You're going to start seeing the honor come to us when we obey Yah. Right now, uh, one sign to show you that our nation don't have the honor. Look how we're getting killed in America and all over the earth. Because we're not doing the things that please Yah. It's very important, brothers and sisters. Right here, it's a, uh, on the seventh day, offerings two yearly male lambs, both without defect. Nobody in this earth is doing this at this time, in addition to the regular offerings. And they are to be accompanied by a grain offering. Of six quarts of fine flour mixed with oil, which is olive oil, and the, the usual drink offerings. So keep that in mind. So I'm gonna go down here. That's uh, I read down to ten numbers. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep on reading to um, verse eleven. It said also on the first day of each month. They got month, but it's moon. See, on, 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 the, on the day of, of every new moon right there, see, on the first day, because the first day is the new moon. See, see also on, on the first day of each new moon, but then they got mutt in this translation. There shall be an extra burnt offering to Yah of two young bulls, one ram, and seven male yearling lambs, all without defect, see. So somebody got to check the animals for all of these things to make sure they're pure. See, they have no defect. Perfect. And accompany them with nine quarts of, of fine ground flour mixed with oil as a grain offering with each bull and six quarts of fine ground fl flour mixed with oil as a grain offering for the ram and for each lamb, three quarts of fine ground flour mixed with oil for a grain offering. This burnt offering. How far am I going down here? I went down to 13. That's all I'm going to cover right here. I want to show you that about uh, the feast, the Sabbath, the, regular, the weekly Sabbath, the new moon. I cover that. I'm going to go down to verse 26. In the same chapter, 28. 26 right here. It's a, it's a, on the day of the first fruit. Also called the feast. They got festival, the feast of weeks. See? Or Pentecost. There must be a special solemn assembly of all the people to celebrate the new harvest. See, and on that day, you are to present the first of the new crop and grain on grain offering to Yah. And there is to be no hard work by anyone on that day. See, it didn't say, oh, let me cover a little bit more. A special burnt offering, very pleasant to Yah, shall be offered that day. And it shall consist of two young bulls, one ram, seven yearling male lambs. And these shall be 
accompanied by your grain offerings of nine quarts of flour, fine flour mixed with olive oil with each bull, six quarts with the ram, and three quarts with each of the seven lambs. Also offer one male goat to make atonement for yourselves. See, these special offerings are in addition to the regular daily burnt offerings and grain offerings and drink offerings. Make sure that the animals you offer are uh, without defect. You see that? Always. So I'll be so detailed. He never forget these things. Never make sure the everything you offer without defects. See, so all these things gotta be carried out. Brothers and sisters. These are the things we got to remember. And it cover all each uh, feast. I'm not gonna get into you see like right here in, in chapter 29. I'm gonna hit it real quick. The feast, they got festival, but the feast of trumpets shall be celebrated on the 15th day of, they got September, but you know, the, on the new moon, each year, and there shall be a solemn assembly of all the people on that day, and no hard work may be done on that day. You shall offer a burnt offering consisting of one young bull and one ram in seven years yielding uh, male lands and all without defect. See, all of this was the priest's responsibility, brothers and sisters, to uh, bring the, uh, this. So you can't keep the days. I'm not going to cover the whole uh, chapter. Let me just read the last bit. Uh, offer it, which Yah will appreciate and enjoy. See, see all of these things, the offerings, and you cover all the features, you go through all of this for the sake of time, I'm not going to get into all of that. And I just wanted to show you that, to show you how Aviyah offers is so important to him. See, oh, this was all the part of obedience, to show our reverence to Yah when we obey him. Aviyah didn't just tell it to just uh, offer the answer. It's about will be on uh, father's instructions. That's why he gave it this uh, this work to do. See, that's why the priest had this certain function, and and for exchange from um, us being killed for our uh, uh, sinning, what we um, replace that is to uh, offer the animals. That's mercy of Yah. If not, people be losing their lives. But he said, no, just bring the uh, animals off. You send this and present it to the uh, priest, and the priest will slaughter the things. That's how I begin at the at the uh, tabernacle. Then when our people moved to into the land, and and and, and a permanent um, dwelling got made in Yashalom, in the land of Yada, in their territory, a temple got uh, erected, went up, and then people started bringing it, uh, bringing it to there and presenting it to the priest around the altar, uh, the slaughter place. That's how I went at that point. And we went to the feast um, um, time at that place. See, we don't have any place right now. We can't keep all of these things and keep it that way not till we get back home. Because even in the scripture, show you where the, uh, we're going to get our animals from. I'm going to cover that. I did it in another video, but I got to relocate it again, that information, and, and redo it. Because our people got to be reminded. See, that's why it's so important for us to rally together so we can rehearse this. And we all know this. See, and, and this priest of Yah got to know these things. And we'll know these things. The priest of Yah that will obey him. And have a heart after Yah must carry out these functions again. They got to be cleaned by the messenger of Yah. They, the priest of Yah at this time got to know these things. You know, we got to carry these things out just like the, um, the father gave Moshe instruction to carry out. And everything in detail must be carried out not with, without one thing. Nothing must be left out, undone. Or all of y'all going to be displeased and you won't go into that land. These are the facts of y'all, brothers and sisters. I'm going to Malachi, the prophet Malachi, they call him Malachi. But Malachi chapter 1, I'm going to show you 
when our people um, was going, they went away from Yah. And I'll be asking the prophets. People ain't want to hear the prophets of Yah. Because they revealed to them what Abi I said. See, what was going to go with them. They thought they could just keep on keeping the feast any, any way they want to. See, just like the people today, they don't want to listen to the prophets of Yah. The prophets, by Yah, put the hammer down on you. Abi I put the hammer down on you. He's shutting you down. He ain't receiving nothing. Even though you can keep the Sabbaths, but you keep them in there. All y'all keeping them in your own way at this time. All of you. The feast days and all. Y'all is wrong. Out of the will of y'all. Y'all are unclean. Y'all got to be clean to be acceptable. How do you think all of y'all going to receive you and your offerings? And you're in an unclean state. Only offering you say he will receive at this time is that you confess and return back to him and obey him. And see, then he said he will deliver you, bring you back home, clean you up. And all of these functions are going to be uh, done all over again. But the first one he cleaning up is the priests, brothers and sisters. These are the words of Yah. In Malachi chapter 1, let me get there. I'm going to start off with verse 1 to 11 right here. It says, here is the words, excuse me, here is, is Yah message. To Yahshua, yes, he see to our nation, given through the prophet. They got Malachi with his name Malachi, y'all. I have loved you very deeply, says Yah. But you retorted, really? When was this? And that was the reply. And Yah replies, I show my love for you by loving your father, Yaakov, and, excuse me, loving your father, Yaakov, I didn't need to. I even rejected his very own brother, Esau, and destroyed Esau Mountain. His mountains inheritance to give it to the jackal the jackals of the desert and if his descendants shall say we will rebuild the ruins and then Yah of hosts will say try to if you like but I will destroy it again for their country is named the land of wickedness and their people are called those whom Barah does not forgive you see that for all of their sins they have done it's an old Yasha yell Yah lift your eyes to see what Barah is doing all around the world, then you will say truly, Yah, Yah's great power goes far beyond our borders. And his son honors his father. See, is our a servant honors his master. I am your Abba, they got father, but I got the word Ab, the Hebrew word Ab, and master. I use the word Barah, the creator. Yet, you don't honor me, O priest. You see that? The priest responds, see? He, so I'll be put this at the priest. The, the words of the prophets, O priest. The priest was the messengers of Yah. They were the ministers of Yah, the servants of Yah, to carry out the uh, will and instruct the people in the instructions of Yah and tell them how they must do these things. It's very important. So Ab Yah went right to the top, O priest. But you despise my name. See? See, Ab Yah said they despise his name, they hate his name, they dishonor his name, his reputation. Who? Us? See? 
this is what the priest said, who, us? You say, when did we ever despise your name? He said, when you offered polluted offerings on my altar. See, the slaughter place. You see that, brothers and sisters, what it was, it, it's all about? He said, when what cost our people that got put out. He said, when you offered, and I, I read you in the law, the instruction earlier, the RBI said he would not accept it. But that's exactly what they did. He said, when you offered polluted offerings on my slaughter place. So we're going over history. What cost and led to our people.